Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Utility Sports. Today, we're going to be covering the NFL Draft. The first round did just conclude. We had a whole variety of picks go down. It was an awesome night. Really enjoyed the live stream with you guys as well. And in this video, we're going to be covering our draft winners and losers. If this is something you enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Utility Sports for more content like this. And jumping into my first winner of the night, I have to go with the team that had the first overall pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars. They got the top player in this year's class in Trevor Lawrence. But then at pick 25, they came back and grabbed a player I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on in Travis Etienne. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, they already had a good running back in James Robinson. Etienne is the perfect complement back to James Robinson. He's going to function in the pass game. I really like what he's going to bring as a complement to Robinson, who's going to do a lot of that in between the tackle carrying. The two of them are going to be the best running back duo in the league moving forward, in my opinion. I really, really strongly feel that way. Austin, who's one of your winners? Uh, one of my winners is the Chicago Bears. They did a really nice job leveraging a trade-up. Obviously, they were kind of sitting in the weeds and waiting for, for Justin Fields to fall, and he fell to the right spot, and they were able to move up with the Giants. And I think the Giants did well, well in that trade. But Chicago, who's been looking for that franchise quarterback, they were sitting at 20, and I, I just was not ex expecting them ultimately to move that high and, and go get a quarterback. But they had the guts to go do it, and they had themselves a franchise quarterback finally. Right. One other winner I want to touch on real quick, I think, is the Cincinnati Bengals. I know they stuck at five, took Jamar Chase. Many of you probably think, well, they need to grab a tackle. There's still a lot of good tackles on the board going into day two. This is what we had talked about for months on the channel. Jamar Chase, the top wide receiver prospect in this year's class, is reuniting with Joe Burrow there in Cincinnati. The LSU duo was phenomenal together. And they're going to continue to be great together in the NFL. Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase are going to be great together. Awesome. One more winner from you. For me, it's the LA Chargers did a really nice job just kind of sitting back and not, you know, panicking to trade up. They obviously get Rashawn Slater, who who's a very talented player. Um, he, he fell to them in their lap at 13. Really good job by Tom Telesco just making that pick, getting a franchise left tackle to protect Justin Herbert's blind side. Absolutely love that pick for the Chargers. Yeah, Tom Telesco did everything right tonight. He does that consistently. I really like that as well. Now moving on to the side where we look at maybe some losers from tonight, some teams that maybe reached a little bit on a player, didn't do as well as they could have. And I'm looking specifically at J.C. Horn, cornerback out of South Carolina. The Carolina Panthers stayed in the state of Carolina, obviously South Carolina versus North Carolina, but took the Carolina product, J.C. Horn at cornerback. He was the first defensive player off the board. I thought it was a little bit of a reach. I think that they could have done better there at that position. Austin, what about you? Yeah, for me, it's the Raiders. I think Alex Leatherwood was, he's not that talented of a player, especially at the tackle spot. I think he's better suited at guard. Obviously they took him to play tackle, but they really, really reached with that selection. It's unfortunate two years in a row they, they've been having to reach on some of these first round prospects. They haven't done a great job. So unfortunately, the Raiders are a loser for me. Yeah, the Raiders, I think, are the big loser. I think that they had the worst pick on night one. And also looking at the New Orleans Saints, I think Peyton Turner was just a little bit of a, a safe pick. I think that maybe they could have waited on him a little bit. I don't necessarily know if he fits into what their needs were this offseason either. Uh, obviously, probably a disappointing night for Saints fans after the rumors of them possibly moving up to get a cornerback or maybe even a quarterback many had hoped, just end up with Peyton Turner. I think that they could be a little bit uh, disappointed based on what they landed this year. And also, I just want to touch real quick on some teams that I think are best suited for the following days of the NFL draft. I think the Minnesota Vikings had a very good night as well. I, they're grabbing Christian Derrissaw at 23, and they also picked up a ton of assets from the New York Jets in their trade down. Uh, I like that move a lot for them. I think they set themselves up for the rest of the draft very well. And I think the New York Jets are a team to watch tomorrow on day two that really need to capitalize at pick 34. After trading pick 66 and also 88, they need to make the right selection tomorrow at 34 to kind of round out the rest of this roster. Probably find someone either at cornerback or edge is my guess uh, to really round out this roster. We'll see what they do, though. Thanks again, guys, for watching this video and clicking on. Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We appreciate your support so much. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you in the very next video.